all right how are you doing he's hoping that all is pretty well with you and of course you're settling in with the new month nice and easy and all is happening just fine according to your plans this is one on one and my name as always is Eugene Anangwe I know that most of you at least in your lifetime you have used a motorcycle as a taxi to move you from one place to another either because you do not have the luxury of having a car or you just needed to rush somewhere and that was either your only option of transportation but now there's a group that is out to make using this motorcycles as taxis a safer experience for you and they're calling themselves safe motors and with me in studio today on one on one is none other than mr eric shimimana he's in charge of communication welcome to one on one sir thank you how are you feeling i'm feeling good. did you use a motor when you're coming here yes of course and how safe was it okay i think it was pretty cool mm. but it was very safe it was very yeah. safe especially with the rains right now so much happening on the road especially slippery roads um, or sometimes vision if there's any motorcyclist who's riding in the rain sometimes some of them brace the rains they don't shy away from continuing to ride when the rain is on so tell us a bit about safe motors because initially you were telling me or from what I'm reading also on your website is it was an initiative by two friends or two co-founders who loved using motorcycles to move around Kigali and they realized the issues of safety the safety concerns that surround the use of motorcycles and they decided to come up with this platform what is it how is it even going to make people safer to use the motors okay thank you very much safe moto is a tech based company that we really start in May mm -hmm. and then it will operate with drivers around Kigali mm -hmm. Um, for your question that how it will make Rwandan safer so it will create it you will use application that will create financial incentive for drivers to drive customers safe so you're bribing the drivers to drive safely are you, yeah. are you bribing them are you paying them to drive safely yeah, when you say financial incentive for them to drive safely what, what do you mean by that okay so for the application how it will work mm -hmm. so it will help drivers to get some additional money mm -hmm. that they can put in pockets while driving a customers which is different for normal day-to-day conducting or driving their customers that they find in lots mm -hmm. yeah how will that work because some people want to understand where will even get that money to give these moto uh, riders to give them as an incentive for riding their customers safely how will you even practically do that okay good question mm -hmm. so how it will make money for example let's take an example you are in your own villa or your home yeah. and you take the application as a customers and you text you instruct the application by sh by showing it or asking it where you want to be picked up by the motor mm -hmm. and then the application will directly ask you where you want to go your destinations and then you will choose rates or the drivers according to the quality of driver that you want mm -hmm. so it means that let's take an example this application will work on the model of some of very incentive and very creative company that's known here in the world one of is one of them is called uber mm -hmm. if you have known mm -hmm. so it's uber uses taxis to make to conduct people where they want to go which is more even more safe mm -hmm. using the application mm -hmm. so safe motor application will work in the same model as uber not exactly the same motto because it will work directly and closely with with safe same drivers mm -hmm. motor drivers to make Rwandans and to make Rwandans and so that they can move on motor with safety with safety yeah. are we talking of safety to mean getting to their destination without getting lost because you're talking of you seem to be insinuating that you're looking at a situation where a client asks 
the application or the application asks the client where do you want to be delivered by yeah. this motor then you type and then it helps you get there are you talking of the safety of reaching to a destination that you wanted to reach or the safety of keeping you safer from accidents on the road yeah the motors. safety exactly that i'm talking is the safety for keeping a customer away from accidents. from accidents. So from the statistics that and the search that conducted by World Health Organization, mm. it's had found that six six hundred and twelve Africans die every day because of road accidents. That is a huge amount of people who dies and these people need to need their life and this, to continue to live mm. in their normal days. Mm. So imagine in Rwanda you know you, where you cross crisscrossing the loads you find many people from dying from the motor accidents and if they didn't die they they become m more of them handicapped mm -hmm. and some of the injuries that are very hard mm -hmm. that is a serious problem that makes safe motor to dig deep and come up with an idea that can help them to go safer to their destination mm -hmm. not to be exactly delivered to their destination only mm -hmm. but going safe yes so so fr from some of the tweets on social media uh, that is at safe motors this is your twitter handle where there's a tweet that was just tweeted 13 minutes ago that says Africa will have the world's largest workforce by 2014 we want to help people get to work more safely so there seems to be a bigger plan of, of, of ensuring that whatever you're saying is taken on a global scale that is not just in Rwanda that is not just for people who are in Rwanda but a global scale that you have a bigger plan but how are you going to implement this who are you going to involve in this where or which role with those will those motorcyclists even play apart from the uh, clients putting or installing this application but what role should the motorcyclists themselves play in keeping their customers safer okay so one of the prey as you have said africa is, will be grown and then it is estimated to have one of the youths among other continents mm -hmm. here in the world mm -hmm. in the upcoming years mm -hmm. and then that people always normally going to their work and then for the lot of drivers for making the, those customers safe the drivers will use the application mm -hmm. the application that they use will use some kind of technology wait it's hold the thought who's using the application is it okay. the driver or the, okay. of the motor or the passenger thank you thank you for let's the, clarify the, that the yes. good question yeah. So the application, we have two applications, one for the customers and the one for drivers. Mm. The application for drivers will have some kind of technology including accelerometer and the gyroscope. Those are instruments that help to maintain the speed of a motor driver where he want everywhere. Mm. So from that, and we can m be able to track the, ac the acceleration that they use, the speed that they use, so that you can be able to make a customer that he drive more safe. Mm. Yeah. Are you able to control their speed from wherever you are using the app? Application, because the application will also have GPS, and the GPS will be able to track the information where the driver is, where he pick up the customer, and what is the time he drives the customer to his or her destination, which will be a good model that will help to minimize and to bridge the gap that is between the number of people who die every day mm. and the number of motors who make those accidents. Mm. So, so, so this speed uh, uh, tracking device that you're able to, to know that the motorcyclist is riding at this kilometers per hour, from the application, what are you able to do to save the life of that passenger that is using that motor that is either over speeding? Okay, from the application directory, even a customer, because we have his or her own application, yes. and the driver, him or himself, mm. will be able to use the application directory because it can be able to see the notification. For example, if he's driving, so we can know the driver is moving at a faster speed, which is a dangerous speed, and then we can directly notify him 
so that you can be able to control the the speed how will you be able to notify all these motors we see on this road okay it's a, it is a, a tricky problem mm. so we are still working on it but how it will work so we work so that we can have the uh, the the um, drivers have the application just right so that they can see the notifications mm -hmm. once they see the notification they can know exactly what they want to do Mm. First of all, we train them because this application will require some kind of training and technology. So we train them so that they can be be accustomed with the application and be able to use effectively mm. to serve Rwandans. Mm. Th th there is also the involvement of relevant authorities in all this because okay. we don't just want to have an an application that just shows you from your headquarters yeah. Yeah. that um, motorcycle this registration is riding at a speed that is okay. beyond the speed limit okay. uh, although we don't still know <laughs> the, 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 the the limit on some of the roads or whatever so we have some of them over speeding yeah. so you have this information from whatever okay. uh, information center that you have okay. but what do you do with that information do you have any sort of partnerships with the relevant authorities like the traffic police for them to be able to follow up using your device to be able to either punish those that are over speeding what kind of collaboration do you have at this okay, level exactly and with who? so we we are trying to reach out to rura and the Rwandan police but we we are we, we not use exactly every motorcycle here in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. so we use some we take some we create a, an entry requirement for drivers that we work directly with them and those drivers will be trained and then know how it, they use the application and then they know exactly teach them exactly what is the speed that they cannot be over so that they can be able to know those rules and the regulation that they should follow mm. but also we are in partnership and to we are also planning to reach out to police and also rura yeah. so with that statement you okay. twist the whole thing and okay. and what i want you to help us understand is okay. when you say you will not work with all motors okay. is this a sort of elite um kind of a project that is that is going to be a value added uh, uh, to those who want to use the specific motors that you're going to be having is it is it something a service that you're coming up with for specific motors taxi motors that will have this gadget that you will be working with that your clients will able will be able to use them you know like the way you have a number of taxi voitures okay. which have a certain service okay. that builds more confidence in those clients that use them. So you add some value to it and the value is we have this gadget that will keep you even more safer if you use this motor that has this gadget instead of using that motor that does not have that gadget. Are you in a sort of, are you entering the market as a competition in the motor industry? Or what are you doing? Is it a project that is out to be used by all motorcycles here in Rwanda or a selected few that you will work with? Okay, thank you for a good question. So we are planning to work with all motorcycles here in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, we are planning to first of all select some of motorcycle cycle drivers and then train them where you train them if if they become familiar with the application and how safe motor model works they can be able to transfer information to others okay. and then time after time we recruit more drivers mm -hmm. because if we have one one can train another in a few amount of time and then after time after time we can be able to reach two more drivers this is not competition mm -hmm. it's like a kind of a creating a safe environment and experience Experience for customers who every day go to their destination and their work. Mm. We also seem to have some discipline issues with some motor, motor, motor drivers. We've had several people complaining and saying like, uh, you know, these guys sometimes um, um, they're just not considerate with the speed that they're using. But also on the flip side, we have clients or customers who want to be driven faster because they're either late for an appointment 
or they just want to reach somewhere very fast and they believe that using a moto I'll be able to maneuver through the traffic and reach my destination. To these two people, because both of them have a role to play in keeping themselves safer, yeah. what message do you have for them? What are you going to be telling them? What are you going to be having them do when they start uh, uh, you know, using your application? Okay. First of all, I want to add something. The application will have some kind of additional values where a customer will be able to pick a, a driver depending on her quality of driving. Mm -hmm. So it means that we they will relate, for example, if you say this is more safer, if you want to move from Kigali, we know people move around mm -hmm. and they know to, they want to move fast to reach to their destination mm -hmm. depending on their time. So from that period, they can choose a higher quality driver with five rating styles. That means the highest and the highest quality driver that can be able to move to his or her destination safely. Mm. So this means you will need to have all the information about almost all the motorcyclists. The drivers that we work with. That you will work with. How many are you thinking of starting up with? Okay, just now we are, because we are still in testing, so we are ha handing the application to some of the testers here in Kigali. I think today they have started to, to test the application. We have started only with two quotes and quotes moto drive cycle drivers mm -hmm. so does that will help us to know exactly the information and how the application works and the experience that they will get so those testers they will give us information that will help us to to recruit other other um, motorcycle drivers to come in in the service and use them. Mm. Now, talking of the speed limit, because today some people say that we need to fix speed governance okay. in, 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 in some of our public transport vehicles or some of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, public transport means, like even the motorcycles. When you look at that thing of having a speed governor that governs the speed limit, that beyond this speed, either the motor will malfunction or there will be an alarm that will uh, go off and this, the, the, the passenger will know that he is exiting or, he is, she, or she is exiting the speed limit or the, 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 the limit that they are supposed to be riding on. So when you look at that particular kind of approach versus your approach of having a gadget that will tell you that someone is over speeding but will not either stop them from over speeding or going beyond that speed, what do you think is more appropriate in this scenario, in this situation? Okay, I think both are appropriate, mm. first of all, to for example, using some kind of electric sonary that can that can remind the the driver mm, that is over speed, gone, yes. and also as I said, the application will have to side the customer and the driver. If the customers, because in the application it will say exactly the kilometer that the driver is driving on, so from that kilometer, if the driver exceed the speed, so it means that to notify either the driver and the customers that the speed is over limit. Mm -hmm. That will exactly show the customer, either the customer can say to the driver at the, that the speed is over so that they can reduce, reduce the, the speed. Mm. Tell me about these gadgets. What, what, what do they look like? And is it, is it, is it an application that someone uh, you know, installs on their smartphone? Is it something that they will have to go to the shop and buy and, and walk all the way with all the time they're on the road? How does it look like? What does it okay, it's look a, like? It's a smartphone-based application. So if you have a smartphone, you can okay. install the app? It, it will be free. Okay. And then every time that you want to take a moto, you open the application, and then you instruct the application by saying, pick me up here, mm -hmm. and then the application, by saying pick me up here, the motor driver will be notified who is near. We use the motor driver, for example, let's say we are here at contact, mm -hmm. and then you want a motor, a motorcycle driver. So you, you text, I'm at contact, and then send the request. Pick mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. me then it, it, it sends the information to all to those who have near. the motorcycles that have that are near and have the application. the application so all of them come crowding at contact no. at the gate no the application how it works so if the one of the driver take the request others are not able to take okay the so it's first comes it's first, served. first served. so the first one to to take, take the request is the first one that comes who comes to pick the the, the customer and you know that most of them have issues with negotiating the price of where they are going okay so will this have already been done before you call them to come over because they can come and you haven't agreed on the cost of where you're going okay we say this application will be more convenient mm-hmm. and thank you for your question mm-hmm. for we know that the power of bargaining is existing between customers and drivers mm-hmm. and then for the application how it's work it will set the amount of money that is fair for the driver and also fair for for the the customer the customer so we know for example from the if the driver you want the driver to take you to the town there is amount of money that you cannot go below and the driver there is amount of money that cannot go also below from that information we can estimate from from here to town this amount of money driver will not go up or down, oh, down so that the customer can know exactly without bargaining without bargaining which is a really add value for the application mm-hmm. and talking of the smartphones how many of these motorcyclists not not that i'm undermining them or anything but i'm just saying how many of them from your research can afford to be with smartphones for them to be able to work with this application this is this is yet another question because you need the tools to be able to deliver this yeah. very wonderful project that you have but then how effective will it be if there is not enough when it comes to the supply of the gadgets the smartphones yeah so will it will it lock out some of those who are not able to afford a smartphone or what are we going to do here okay thank you for the good question so mm-hmm. we know all motor drivers to afford the smartphone most of them is very hard yes so so we are planning to make a systems for example that motor driver will give them the smartphones but they will we set a system that they they will pay after time after time to give them as, credit as, yeah as they work they can be paid those application yeah they pay the application or they pay for the phone they pay for the phone mm-hmm. okay thank you so you're going to to give them credit for smartphones on credit yeah you're going to organize this this will create some kind of uh, a system or approach that will allow them to give them the uh, the phones and then they can take the phone on credit they can take pay after time a certain after. time yeah. talking of safety you know most of us when we look when we look at the roads and we talk of the motors when we talk of safety most of us look at the accident part yeah and in most cases that's not just the safety that we we, we need to be looking at there's also the issue of of cleanliness because you need to be safe from either contaminable uh, diseases uh, that that you may be able to get infections for example uh, uh, you know some have dirty headgears the casks that have not either seen water for a very long time or some of them are not even in good shape you cannot even see where you're going so in this process of training when you're talking about safety how much of effort are you going to also put in ensuring that your customers or the customers of these motors experience a 360 degree safety that is not just about keeping you safer from an accident but also hygienically speaking thank you so we know most of the time and every time we take moto we experience some kind of problem mm-hmm. that that the agent that is in helmet that drivers have so from that problem so we from the training and the the driver that we work faced in our pilot that we start in may so we make sure that they will be enough to know information about hygiene and not hygiene of themselves but also the hygiene of the customers that they will carry mm. which will be also another add value 
to customers' safety and increase their safetyness. Mm. Right. So probably as we move closer to the conclusion of the program, this is this is this is an idea. This is this is a project. This is an innovation. This is something that needs to have a reward for those who are creating it. And so this brings us to your question of some of people who are out there listening to us or even watching and have such kind of ideas and they want to commercialize them. They want to earn something out of it. They would love to know how then will you guys make money out of this because you want to give incentives to motorcyclists for driving safely for being neat for keeping the client safe but then how do you make your money okay thank you very much so for the process of making money uh, as you know is very tricky you know we give incentive for for drivers because you've said even applica yeah, the application is the, free the, of charge the phone and yes. the application is free of charge mm. but from the the i can base for example i can base on the how uber works so you buy use taxis and then for the taxis if for example you recommend or you request a taxi using uber so for uber there's an additional amount of money that you pay mm. for a quality driver that we coming to take you so from that we'll be able to get the amount of money from for example let's say if you for for example if you are going to be taken for with a driver that is with her five star quality it means that the driver the amount that they will get from the service they will be able to take the sum of free charge for entrance for drivers to to enter in the in the company so that we can be able to proceed it means that so you will charge them yeah you're going to charge them to be part of this experience the, this experience okay how much are you looking at exactly right now we are not we are not finalizing the amount of money that we're charging mm -hmm. exactly as I said we are still in the process of testing mm -hmm. as we are still started the testing today so from that experience either customers and the drivers we will be able to determine what is a fair for them and affordable for them for them also mm -hmm. because customers are those who will be carried and delivered they can be able to give give us information that will be based on that from research mm. exactly from research conducted here in Rwanda Kigali mm. exactly so that we can be able to base on this information and take the conclusion of amount that we charge for entrance super so thank you so much mr eric thank you for sharing the information with us and we wish you all the best you. you said in may you're launching the product and what are your expectations by the way okay we expect that Rwandans we love the this service of safe moto and they will be able to comfortably use the application and enjoy the beauty of safe moto all right made right here thank you so much my friend for talking to us and sharing the information about uh, safe motors right here on one on one we definitely wish you all the best and once again we are right here to support any particular uh, uh, innovations that come away and of course also feel free to share with us when you have any new developments on this particular area all right thank you very good much. and thank you so much for talking to us that is eric shimimana he's in charge of communication at safe motors they insist that they are coming here to make sure that your traveling experience using the motors is even safer than it is today the views and comments made right on this particular program not necessarily of the show or of the host of the show and the station itself but of course of our guest we thank you so much for watching and listening let's keep the conversation going on on twitter use the hashtag 101 rw follow us at 101 rw or like our facebook page 101 rw my name as always is eugene and see you again very soon bye bye